Hello everyone, I am Lezrin, and let's play Factorio. This is one of my favorite games, and I would probably say of all time. It's really, really up there with a lot of the games I would say are my favorite of all time. It's definitely probably in my top five, if not uh, a little bit higher. So, first of all, I'm going to play just kind of the, the sandbox edition. So let's do let's do small water, and I'm going to do very large or very big starting area. Normal everything else, all the the richness and and size of of uh, ore deposits and enemy bases and all that. And let's get into generating the land. This is completely vanilla. So let's see, we've got some iron, we got copper, stone, and coal. So basically what you need to do, you need to mine things out. You can do it by hand, which I do not suggest, at least as little as possible. And, or you can do it automatically with miners. So I'm gonna grab some wood just to get some fuel. Chopping it down. Now the best way to describe this game is in my opinion like a factory simulation I guess in a it's set in kind of like a survival world that's procedurally generated so that's probably the only thing I can think of to describe this thing you will see as we get into it what I mean by by that when I say it so <laughs> That's where I'm going to leave trying to describe it. It's kind of its own genre, and what genre that is, I couldn't tell you, honestly. I don't know if there is one, so I think that's probably why it's one of my favorite games. It definitely creates its own genre, you know, and it's just an awesome game altogether. It's very fun, very easily replayable. Uh, replayable. You can put... 50, 60, 100, 600 hours into it and still do new things that you haven't done before. But you can also fine tune, you know, like your starting build and that kind of a thing if you really wanted to dig, dig down into it. Yeah, let's make three of those. Let's get some coal burning. Now what I usually do is I'll start out uh, forcing these guys into feeding themselves as you can see with the arrow if you this is what happens when you first spawn in right if you just hit the alt key I believe it's only left alt yep left alt then uh, it'll show you these arrows of which way something is pointing so as you see and just hit the R button while hovering over them and you can rotate them so this is going to mine some coal out and it's going to feed it into this one. This one's going to mine some coal out feed it into this one. So it's just created a small loop. That way I can get some coal being automatically mined for me. Now I may not make this really into a tutorial. I'm just kind of explaining a few things here and there as I go. So I may eventually make a tutorial. I haven't decided on that yet. but. You can definitely learn things just by watching them. So hopefully that's what happens. Okay. Grab the coal it's created. Make at least one more of those. I might make more, we'll see. Let's get some stone being made. Now I'm shift right clicking to automatically throw half a stack into into these. It does get a little dark, I apologize. I'm sure YouTube doesn't portray that very well. Just before I forget, let me go ahead and save this. Wow, that's great typing. There we go. Grab the stone, because I am going to want more miners and burners. Okay, looking good. Get some more metal. 
Metal is the primary resource for pretty much everything. Metal and copper, those are your two number one resources. You can't really do much at all without metal and copper. Uh, you'll find that out as you go. It's pretty much, I mean, that's, that's like the primary colors, you know, you just, you have to have those. Definitely don't need as much copper as you do iron, but it is needed for everything from research to wire to cabling to everything. So just plan on needing a lot of copper and a lot, lot of iron. Uh, let's see, let's make, let's make one more of these. Grab more stone. Grab more coal. Actually, I know what I want to do. I need more coal. I need way more coal. So, yep. Just increase the loop. Grab more iron. And continue on doing what we're doing. Now, I did create an engine because basically that's the next step in what you really need to start doing. And that is to get power. No, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, I figured you're going to run out soon. Let me go grab the coal. And the beginning of this is not necessarily conducive to the rest of the game because you do a lot of running around, a lot of little mining here and there. Some manual mining here and there, chopping down trees. Getting all the basics set up. Soon you will have uh, a lot of this automated. So let's do one of those. See, I need more iron. Get some copper since I got that going. Pick up my stone. Just making the rounds. Okay. So I've got one engine. I'd probably want more than that. One is good enough to start with what I want to do. Want one more of those. Need some more of those. Grab more iron. Let's put one more iron mine down. It's going to take a little bit to build. So what I want to do is plan out where I want my engines to go. Engines take up quite a bit of room. So I think what I'm probably going to do and Mostly because of the coal being right here, but I might put them over here because they have a decent coal deposit right there. And you'll find out why here soon. Okay, I need to get some coal. I've got some coal. Okay, so not that much in there. That's good. Okay. Doing pretty well on supplies. Yeah, let's get this one down. Nope. Get off. There we go. I haven't played this in a while, so it's taken me a little bit of time to get used to the controls again. But I want the cable there. Metal click to set up your permanent locations of things. I do need to get some transport belt made. Need lots of iron. Okay, you need some coal. Works there. Everything needs resources. Okay, so we don't have enough wood to make any more power lines, but that's fine. We don't really need them right now. I need 13 of those. You know, need more metal and stone and all that kind of thing anyway. So while everything is kind of chugging away over there, let's go ahead and chop down some trees. You don't need wood for very long, but you definitely need it in the beginning for power lines and chests and all that kind of thing. Nope.
And uh, I've got ten of those. I want one, two, three more. You can right click to make five, left click to make one, and shift click to make as many as you possibly can, depending on the resources you have in your inventory. Okay, so I got four of those. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I need. 13 of these, I am short on iron. Of course, I'm short of iron. And 13. Shift click, make as many of those as I can make. Let's grab all the copper out of there. Probably want one or two more engines just so I don't have to run up there as often. Grab as much coal as I can, as much stone as I've got. Okay, so I've got all my inserters, got my miner, got my coal burners. Let's go ahead and permanently make the, well, it's not necessarily permanent, but you can reserve a slot. You can always unreserve the slot by control mouse or control middle click. And uh, yeah. Okay, so kind of where I'm thinking, let's go explore a little bit up here. Probably should have checked the coal content, make sure I have enough in there. But we won't be gone for very long. You don't have to have things next to coal, but it makes it easier, especially in the early game. So I'm thinking maybe coming off of here. You can always move these later. It's one thing you'll probably find you, you doing to yourself is building things and then moving them a, sh a, lo a little while later so it's inevitable it happens it happens to everybody it happens to the best of us it just happens I do need a water pump because boilers require pumps so I think I'm gonna go north with them so let's do that and I like to make little gaps with underground pipes just kind of for future proofing let's put down 13 of these Uh, gap and that's where the engines going okay so now I want to run my power line over to here let's put down my miner do I want it here actually I think I want it right here now let's run our belt and like every factory, you gotta have belts. And let's put down our coal power burners. Burner inserters. Perfect. Now, can I make another engine? Yes, I can make two. So let's go ahead and get those making. Go ahead and put a little bit of coal in these. That should be enough. Let's lay these down and connect them up. And coal inserters use coal to allow them to pick things up and insert them in things. They do create pollution, un unlike uh, electric inserters, but the electric inserters use electricity and therefore create pollution in a different means and that's by causing the boilers to run which boilers create a lot of pollution so the reason to not make pollution is because that is what causes the enemies which are biters in this game to come and attack you and they will mostly target the higher pollution areas unless they run across something just kinda in their path so yeah pollution is a factor Trees naturally get rid of pollution, albeit at a very low rate. You'll, I mean, <laughs> you can have an entire forest next to you, and it will help. It will actually help quite a bit, but it's definitely not guaranteed to stop anything. Okay, so let's do control right click to do half, half stacks in these things. Looks good. Need to pick up all the coal I can get. How are you doing? You good? 
plenty of stone. Don't really need much more stone. I'm doing pretty well on iron now. So let's get some actual electric mining drills. Let's get a let's get a lab. Let's get five of those. Five of the electric inserters. I need some more belt. I'm going to work on converting everything into electricity, which I need to run power line down here. So let's do that before I forget. Give you some coal. And I really need to dump the rest of my coal into these things. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest I've got while I'm here. Okay, let me go ahead and now run the power lines. Way up here, all the way down here to where I'm going to use them. Now, my might put one more drill here, but one is going to be more than enough for a long time. Especially for as much power as I'm going to draw out of this thing. It's going to back up on the line, and that's just fine. That is kind of like your stock, you know. It's like a warehouse, but on a belt. Now from there I can pretty much do anything I want with it. But what I want to do is make a lot of those stone furnaces. And we're going to get a proper proper smelting area kind of going here. Oh, I'm out of belt. Some belt going while I'm waiting here. And you can just hold your left mouse and drag. You'll see what I'm doing here just quickly. Mostly what I'm going to do right now though is kind of manually place coal in these things just temporarily until I'm able to get coal ran easily. Problem is I don't have an inserter that is really that good at doing it so I'm gonna go ahead and let's just do these for now. And power them. Yeah, I'll get the coal. Too far away. There we go. Now these will fill up. And that's exactly what I want them to do. Now you're probably starting to be able to see exactly how this can become automated. What I'm planning on doing is having coal running from here onto this belt. But what I need to do before that happens is I need to research something which is automation and this is very strange to me because they completely changed all these images obviously for the better these are awesome looking images but nothing looks the same to me as it did a few months ago so let's go ahead and do this because I need the long-handed inserters and I need the assembling machines uh, a lot of people might go for armor crafting and weaponry first, and that's a great idea to do. But today, I'm going this way. So, first of all, need to make manually 10 of these science packs. Red ones are the easiest ones to make. And as a general rule of thumb, okay, one electric mining drill will feed two stone furnaces. So this one will very, very rarely be able to pick up any iron off this belt since there's only two of these. Now if I put another electric mining drill down it will basically start filling up the belt because five of these is not going to be able to take all that. So just some pretty quick things to think about. 
All right, I'm gonna pick these up because they do create pollution and I don't really need them anymore. They're kind of ancient history. I'm gonna leave those there because I'm gonna need coal for a while. Go ahead and grab the copper. I want to check on my boilers and I do want to put some more engines down. Because I'm really starting to expand now, so I'm going to run into a time where I'm not going to have enough engines. And you can do that by clicking on a pole. It'll show you how much you're consuming and how much you're producing. If you're consuming far more than you're producing, you have a problem. See, we're at max right now. So, and you'll actually start seeing your drills slow down and everything slow down to a crawl. Actually, am I reading that wrong? No? Okay. Get down the trees that are in the way, because trees are bad. We've got... Seven of them. Can I make three more? Yep. This setup for the 13 of these will run 10 engines. This is generally what is called a large engine because these are a single engine and you can create a large engine by doing that. Makes sense. And those are going nicely. And as you can see, the coal did back up on the belt. I'm going to go ahead and place one more mining drill down just for future proofing. And I'd like to have both sides of the belt filled up. Let's get those out of there. Okay, I will not have to look at that for a very long time. And we're definitely not at max production. And yeah, I was reading that wrong. Consumption, you'll see the production kind of turn yellow and red and all that kind of a thing because it won't be able to handle everything you're trying to pull out of it. You'll see. It'll happen eventually. We will see it soon, most likely, as we expand and grow. And let's get a couple more of these. Oh, I need to put my science packs down. I think what I'll do is go ahead and put a chest with an inserter. Nope. And then I can just place things in there as I want them. So I'm going to want some more of those. Let's go ahead and queue those up and get them making. Now I think what I'm going to do is just temporarily do this. That way I can set these up. And I need more power poles. Problem with science packs is they take an incredibly long time to make. At least for, you know, doing them manually. This will become ore eventually, or uh, coal eventually. Now let's just do it that way. Grab the coal because it is maxing out. Good, good. Lay down the power poles. Okay, now we have 10 of these making iron. And the science is done. 
So I'm going to go ahead and move on to probably ammo or uh, weapons. Yeah, because I want to get the submachine gun. That's one of the better items to get in the beginning of the game. And I need five more science packs. Okay, so far, so good. Plenty of iron coming in. Plenty of iron being produced. Research on the way. Quite a bit of resor uh, resources going. Let's see, I'm going to make probably a couple more wooden chests. And pretty soon I need to do the same thing I did here for the copper. But that is a horrible vein to do it, so we'll probably do it over here. And just tie this into it. Because that's a tiny, tiny copper vein. It's a pretty good size uh, iron vein. It's not huge. That's bigger. We don't have a lot of resources in here, but we've got some nice oil deposits, which are right here. Coal is very sporadic and spread out, but we have, or not coal, I mean uh, stone. Plenty of coal. Plenty of coal. That coal's going to last us for a very long time. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this in the chest. Good to go. And I think next I will go for the armor. We can go ahead and kind of start getting this produced automatically just by throwing resources in there. And I think that's what I'll do. So let's get some more of these. Yep, that works. Then let's get a couple of assembling machines. Maybe an extra lab. Shouldn't need two assembling machines, so actually let's go that way. Let's go lab. Now let's get a little bit of automation going. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I only need one of these. Okay, so got a lab going. Let's put you into there. This is very rudimentary, but it'll work. Now I want you to create those. Let's get rid of you. Now let's put one. It takes two iron, about one copper to make what you want. So let's go, let's go iron armor. Let's do that one first. That looks good. See, as you can see, two. Oh, never mind been a long time I've forgotten the recipes obviously I do need one more of these just trying to work this out in my head real quick Okay, one, two, one. You want to do those? Every once in a while, this may grab iron out of there, but it'll work pretty well. I'm trying to remember if it's one of these for two labs, which you can pretty much figure out. These take 5.5 seconds. Depends on what you're researching as well, though. Some things take a lot less time to research. Why aren't you placing copper? All right, let's just split it up. Uh, it's got, okay. I had a piece of iron sitting there waiting, so let's just split it up. I'm just going to put my copper in there like that. Guaranteed to work that way. <laughs> or your money back. Grab the copper. What are you doing on coal? Let's go ahead and just fill you guys up. I've got a lot of coal, so let's go ahead and just fill them all up. 
Fill you up. They don't get a name because... Yeah, I want the opposite direction. That was all I was thinking of. Of course, these take very little time to research compared to some things like these. It's five seconds. These are 30 seconds. So this will work out a little bit better in the long run. And we'll get it all in a line as well later on. This is very simplistic, very beginning of the game. But now I'm thinking about it. Let's get the submachine gun built. This is going to be my junk chest for now. Let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. And that's it for now. Now I have a submachine gun. Better able to defend myself. Should the need arise. And it will. I don't think we've encountered one yet. That's mainly due to our large starting area. Oh, wow. Okay. Grab all the coal. How is my engine doing on coal? The only problem with it being so far up, it's going to be harder to defend, to defend it. Walls might be good to start on. Let's get a turret. Yeah, let's get turrets being built. And I also want, what is that, radar? Yep. Let's get an assembling machine. Do another little rudimentary thing here. I'm gonna make myself some ammo. It takes strictly steel plate. This way I can kind of regulate what's going on here. Okay, I think that is probably a pretty good stopping point for episode one. I hope you're enjoying this. This is a start of a beautiful factory that is going to work horribly and make me very happy playing it. So I hope you're enjoying watching. I'm enjoying playing. I love this game and I'll keep playing it. Thank you for watching and have a great night.